today a beautiful day for a walk and talk in Colorado look at the sky beautiful clouds it is March 24th yeah I had to think about the date I'm in a uh, new build construction zone probably shouldn't be here but I thought I would walk and check it out see where these new homes will be going in this neighborhood absolutely gorgeous day today just a slight hint of a breeze um, probably high 40s top out around 50 today a um, little bit cold this morning it was in the low 20s but it warmed up quick and look at behind me at those mountains yeah it's hard to see but <laughs> I'll throw some better pictures in there. But an incredible day for a walk and talk. Absolute awesome day for it. I am trying to get 12,000 steps in today, which is approximately uh, on or about six miles. So good walking, good on the knees, good on the joints. It'll allow me to walk for, let's see, I'm 47, maybe another 40 years. Probably not 40, but I don't know if I can pull another 30 out. That'd be nice. Nice, healthy, strong. And it contributes towards me walking those big mountains, getting some good footage. Um, wait until winter goes away a little bit. Those mountains will be covered in snow until mid to late June to get into the real high country. But right now, it's beautiful. Beautiful day to be down here in the flatlands of Colorado and along the Front Range and just get some steps and going to enjoy it. This is the Vantage community in Bertha, Colorado. Street signs are up. Now this community already has two phases completed out of what seems like five or more. I'm not sure. Growing, growing, and growing some more. That's Colorado for you. Well, whether you agree with the massive growth or not, I think the local residents of Berthoud, not real pleased by it, but it is as it is. There's one thing you can't dispute. Waking up and seeing that view every day, that's incredible. That's why people want to live here. Just incredible. It's all about the views. I think the great thing about my walk and talk series is that I end up in the most random places and um, a construction site, for instance, just seemed like uh, something to do today. A day off of work, I really want to go to the mountains, but it's pretty mushy, a lot of melting, and uh, they're in for a pounding of snow coming up. So I thought, well, I'll just stay down here where it's nice and warm. It's beautiful out um why not stay in that right why not stay and enjoy that not being a winter personality i'm more of the kind of guy that would like to live in arizona half the year colorado the other half of the year just kind of chase the good weather never been much of a cold weather kind of person not much on uh skiing or snowboarding i like snowshoeing but uh I, you know two or three times a year and i'm i'm good i'm good uh, i like fishing but ice fishing you know, I'll go out once or twice a year, and uh, again, that's good. Uh, otherwise, more of a summer guy, more of a warm weather kind of dude. So, staying down here in the flatlands where it's warmer, yeah, that suits the bill today. It fills the bill. Anyway, interesting construction site. You learn a lot when you walk around a construction site. Not that I advocate for people to do that, because it is technically trespassing. It is technically illegal, but there is nobody working today, as you can see. 
not much construction noise. And the noise I do hear, it must be trash day over here in this neighborhood. A lot of trash trucks running. You can hear that in the background. But otherwise, just a beautiful day.